three. Okay, Frankie. What have you got? Huh? Huh? You're running in a streak of bad luck, Frank. If I was you, I'd quit for a while. Get some rest. No, I, I play out my bad streaks. Suit yourself. Hey, it's 5.30 in the morning. Maybe 50,000. You want to give me a chance to get even? How? I got a bet for you. Come here. Come here. Take a look. That's Smith. What about it? 50,000 says he don't live through the next 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> You never did like Smith very much, did you? <laughs> no. Well, what about it? 50,000? 50,000. Even money? Even money. Lionel, the palace bar holds the stakes. I say he lives for 48 hours. You say he doesn't, right? Huh? Time starts at noon today. Frank, you got a bet. many reasons for entering police work, but to most lawmen, the greatest reward lies in the challenge of the work. You never know what the next minute may bring. Hello, Smith. Still on duty? Why? Getting ready to swindle some poor little old lady out of her life's earnings with my cards? I wouldn't dare do that with you on the job. Besides, the last little old lady I tried to swindle took me for $5,000 with her mark day. That'll be the day. It's on your mind, Dave. Smith, I've got a job for you. That is, if Chief Richards will give you a leave. What kind of a job? Man up in Cheyenne owes me $10,000. I want to go up there and collect. I'll give you $100 a day to go with me. What's the matter? Wait, you want to get out of Cheyenne with the money? How about it, Smith? Will you take the job? I sure need your protection. What makes you think I care anything about your protection outside of Denver? I know you. You'll fight just as hard to help me as... An honest man? No, Dave, I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. You know, Chief Richards kind of frowns on his men accepting private employment. Yeah. How about 150 a day? Nope. You get yourself another boy. No, thanks. With my life at stake, I want only the best. That's my final answer, Dave. All right. Name your own price. I'll give you half the 10000 You got something else in mind? Nope. That's all I had on my mind. Well, I guess I'll just have to forget about the money. So would I. It's going to be that hard to collect. $10,000 isn't worth dying for. You know, I've often wondered how much is worth dying for. See you around. boys can go to work now. Keep him alive and it's worth a thousand dollars apiece.
did you happen to shoot him, Dorsey? Saw something moving where nothing ought to have been. So I shot at it. Was he shooting at me? Well, either you or that horse. Horse got any enemies? You ever seen this man before? No, can't say as I have. Of course, man looks different dead, you know. Smitty? What makes you think this $100 bill's got anything to do with him taking a shot at you? When a total stranger starts taking pot shots at you, he's either hired or he stole his wife. And I haven't misappropriated any wife lately. Nothing on Doris sitting here. What do you know about him, George? Full, hungry gun. Work for anybody. Do anything. Come here. Take a look. Hmm. I want you to tell me what they're doing out there. Got me. Not like them two guys would be hanging around in jail. There's something wrong with this whole setup. Bruce Markson tries to hire me to get me out of town. A total stranger takes a shot at me. And Dorset's right there to drop the guy off the roof. Yeah, that's off duty, too. I wish they wouldn't shoot at me when I'm on my own time. She has, George. I'll get an idea. <laughs> Try something, George. When I head up the street, keep your eye on Dorset and Lane. Driver down, George. Whoa. Get down off of there. What were you gonna do? Shoot him too? Well, he tried to kill you. Ah, uh, the horses got away from me. I couldn't help it. You can talk about that over at headquarters. Look, I told you it was an accident. What are you taking me in for? Come on, argue at the station. <laughs> Now look, this has gone about far enough. What do you say the three of us go and have a nice, quiet talk? Too bad. That's two misses, Frankie. Oh, it's not too late, Davy boy. What's the matter? Wins the last roll, gets the bundle. Smith's gonna be plenty sore about this. Wonder what he's gonna come up with. None of the men I hired know where the money comes from. They can't tell them nothing. Blonde holding the bet knows nothing. Just to hand the envelope over to whichever one of us asks for it. That was 48 hours. Smith's pretty smart. He might just put all this together. Now, what are you worried about? You've got the right side of the bet. That's right. But you know something? In a way, I'm sorry. I wouldn't mind seeing him get it. Not a bit but he ain't worth $50,000 to me. So I'll just keep trying to keep him alive. Cut you for a thousand, Lucky. Oh, uh, uh, just remember one thing, Davy boy. No tipping Smith off to the bet that wouldn't be playing the game fair. I'd hate to have to kill you. Frank, you know me better than that. you two to look after me. You got a dangerous job, Smith. Who's paying you? I guess that's our business. It's Dave Markson, isn't it? Oh, it is? Let's have a straight answer out of you. We just do our job and don't ask questions. But you'd be dead right now if we wasn't working. 
Get out of here. Both of you. Let me catch you hanging around me anymore, either. No longer just hanging around. Get out. Get it all out. Where'd you get this hundred dollar bill? Where my money comes from is my business. Well, I'm making it mine. I don't have to tell you fellas nothing. Look, it'll go a lot easier on you if you cooperate. I tried to tell you out there I couldn't help it. The horses got away from me. Still not gonna do any harm to tell us where you got the money in. All right. I got lucky in a poker game. You lie about like you drive. Now get out of here. Smitty, we gotta book him. If for no other reason, he ain't fit to be driving horses on the streets of Denver. Let him go. Uh, get out of here. Where are you headed? Have a little talk with Dave Marks. Come in. Well, hello, Smith. Decide to take up my offer? We can leave right away. I get out of Denver, wouldn't be anyone trying to kill me. What are you talking about? Those streets out there aren't very safe for me right now. You're a police officer. A lawman is never safer. Why are they trying to kill me, Markson? Who? I'm asking the questions. Don't get sore at me. I haven't done anything. Those two boys down there, what are they for? I like you. You're in a dangerous line of work. So you hire two guns to protect me. That's me, good citizen David Markson, protector of the law. Now, that is a switch, isn't it? You know, I kind of expected you to come up here and thank me. After all, you do owe me your life. I owe you something, all right. I'm going to pay you as soon as I find out what it is. <laughs> You know it's dangerous for you to walk the streets unprotected. I won't warn you again. Go see Marks and draw your pay, you fool. Trouble? No, no trouble at all. But if either Dorset or Lane start following me again, lock them up. Right. What charge? Interfering with the law and the discharge of this duty. Nice legal ring, doesn't it? Hope it's on the book. Time to die, mister. You talking to me? I am now. But if I don't get an apology quick, I'll stop talking. You know, you look a lot smarter than you're acting. You're mighty handy with insults. You're just as quick with that iron you're wearing. Apology gonna stop you. <laughs> There's only one way to settle this, Lister. Mm -hmm. You're alive because you got some talking to do. George, take him over to Doc Henderson, let him patch him up. Find out 
about who he is? His name is Rios. He's a gunslinger. Doc Henderson's working on him now. He knows the answer. He must have it. Who hired you, Rios? Nobody. In your case, I was willing to do the job for pleasure. Now look, you didn't just happen to bump into me in that saloon. You set me up, friend. Not for pleasure. So? No. Nobody hired me. I heard there was 200 out for the man who could kill you. I let it out that I was willing to try. After all, my gun is my business. When I'm not using it, I'm out of work. What riles me so much is not these fellas trying to pick up a quick 200. The man is trying to hire my murder so cheap. <laughs> he knows better than to meet you face to face, Smitty. Really. Uh, it's a not knowing. Idea of some face grinning at me. I don't know that face, but I bet he's grinning right now. Grinning. Frankie Wilson. In that saloon with Rios. I remember looking around just before Rios drew. And there sat Frankie Wisdom, grinning. There's no one sitting at that table when I went in there. I'll see you later, George. <laughs> shootings. Not even when you hire the gun? Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with it. You had an awful big smile on your face about the time Rios drew. All right, so I'll be pleased to see you killed. You've given me lots of trouble. You've never had any trouble like you've got right now. Are you forgetting uh, you're the law? Everything's fair and legal. No, I'm not forgetting. The only thing I want from you is the truth. Why are you hiring killers? I don't like you, Smith. I don't like anything you stand for. But there's no reason to have you killed. I can think of one. Money. Now, why don't you stop lying? Now, let's see how much guts you really got. Get a wagon to the back door with some sort of cover on it. Hey, give me, give me that leather.
Christ, Smith. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Get out! No witnesses, huh? Well, that's the general idea. One thing, Frankie. Yeah? Why was Markson trying to save my hide? Oh, to protect his bet. Bet? You mean you two bet on whether I live or die? Fifty thousand. I bet you wouldn't live 48 hours. He bet you would. I'm honored. I didn't think I was worth that much. Oh, you're not. Now get out. Come on. Get out. You know, Dave's going to be disappointed. Come on, quit stalling. All right, I'll, I'll apologize to him. Come on, quit, quit stalling. Come on. <laughs> well, guess a man's got a right to protect his bet. Keep going to so much trouble saving your life, Smith. And I'll go to a lot of trouble for fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I figured you'd find out about that sooner or later. You're safe now, anyway. Can't say I'm not glad to see you. In a way, I'm sorry I have to take you in. Take me in? What for? Three men are dead because of your activities. Now, ain't that gratitude for you? I should have known I couldn't expect any thanks from you. You know, I plan to take a nice little vacation with all that money I just won. You're not going anywhere. Stay where you are, Smith. Or I've got you covered. You're overlooking one thing, Dave. That rifle isn't cocked. I'd say there's about an even money chance I can get off a shot before you can. You're bluffing, Smith. You're a gambling man. Call me. Dave Markson thought he had the edge when he called my bet. But luck was with him, as it had been from the start. Frankie had saddled Dave with an even money bet that I wouldn't live 48 hours, and he'd lost. But there'd been times in the last two days when I'd have given better odds than that myself. Mm -hmm. 